Jack the Ripper the first time, you're going to tell me a god who hit you with his full strength that all you're going to do is slam. And, and don't forget, Jack the Ripper slammed into a brick wall and concaved it in. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. So it left me yearly for more like, oh man, dude, season two is going to come knocking and rolling, knocking and rolling. And uh, let's get to round four, man. Yeah, so um, pretty much the gods were pretty much pissed of Zeus and them for sure. And they, they called on Hercules, the guy to save them um, from this defeat, which everybody knows Hercules throughout all the stories, whether it is any cartoon, it was a, he's a half God, half human. Um, the, their story with him was pretty interesting. He was already a human and he ended up drinking, I believe the blood of Zeus and was able to harness it and go pretty much head on head with Ares. And Zeus brought him in. And then he, he ended up becoming a god that way to protect over humanity when they were trying to destroy uh, their city for pretty much all the negative stuff that they were doing in the city. But it, it was funny because you see all these, I mean, high quality, well-known people in, in history. And the cliffhanger from the year was humanity's hero is Jack the Ripper, the well-known serial killer from London that went on a spree of just killing a bunch of people, women that were, um, you know, doing the, like you like to say, the bump bump. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it was it was an interesting combo of uh, a God that a lot of people like and know, and then a well-known person in history that, and, and you saw it so, too, humanity did not want to root for him. The Valkyries did not want to root for him. The Valkyrie that was picked for him didn't want to go with him. It was like a, a lot of, yeah, no, I'm not uh, I'm not working with this guy. I'm not rooting for this guy. But then as humanity knew, well, we need this win. So I kind of got to gotta go for him. And, and the fight, the fight was fine. I didn't mind the fight. I, I got how the power difference was drastic and, um, it was more of the length of the fight where the, the story I felt for both of them took so long to tell me, like, I like Jack's story of how he became the person he was, but you could have told me that in one episode. I didn't need to know it two and a half episodes in through the fight. Like it kept switching. Like, and I felt like that was the only one that it kept switching with was it would go to the fight and then backstory. And then fight the backstory again. And it's like, all right, come on. Like, I, I don't, I just want to know who wins now at this point. Like, and yeah, know. it was, it was those, those backstories were the most stupidest thing that they could have done. Why they felt they need to put backstories to uh, Hercules, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, I get it. He's a Divi God, right? I get it. Yeah. They, I, I, I know they're setting up their story. Right, but at the same token, it was like five episodes they spent yeah. on this fight. Yeah, five episodes. It was villain saga all over again. Yeah. Like it is. It was horrible. It was stupid. Like, so I don't agree with Jack the Ripper story. I don't agree Jack the Ripper to be the. They could have got. They could have got any, any other. Uh, anybody like, like. Anybody, anybody else, any yeah. you could have got any, any worse person, Mao, you know, you could have got like, yeah. uh, you know, some Cambodian, you know, dictator, you know, and really shed like, or some African dictator, you know what I'm saying, like, or African warlord, you know, like viciousness, yeah. you know, like, like you could have done that, and I would have been happy with it, you know what I'm saying, but they got Jack the Ripper. Like, where did they come up with this idea? Like, oh, who, who could have given good Hercules? Jack the Ripper. Like, that is the stupidest thing. And then they gave him, like, some, like, oh, I can see the color of your aura, so therefore now I know, like, how to predict your moves. Like, 
his soul. What? Like now we have superhuman natural powers in this, like the humanity. I didn't know we had superhuman natural powers. I I I I trained martial arts for eleven years, man. I tried to bring myself to a Dragon Ball Z Kai. I never got no damn Dragon Ball Z Kai. I could never fly. I could never make create spirit balls. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what? Like, dude, this that that was so dumb. I cannot, I cannot more disagree with all of that crap, dude. I was so bad. So yeah. Jack the Ripper, as you can tell, no, I didn't like it at all. I, it was the most dumbest thing because to me, <coughs> Her, uh, Hercules could have ended in one swoop. Like, like making Jack the Ripper so freaking agile that he could avoid. Like, okay. I yeah. get it, Hercules is muscle, right? But you have to remember, like, he's also super intelligent in the sense that he did the 12 labors, like, of Hercules, right? And, yeah. like, he had to mentally think his way through some of the labors, right? So, like, mentally think his way through it. So it wasn't just like, like, in battle, right? He had to, like, mentally think his way through it. So it wasn't just like, Oh, I just ma oh be Hercules, smash, smash, smash. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't yeah. he wasn't dumb. He was a very intelligent person. He was a king. He was a king in charge of his own realm in, in, in mythology, right? So boom, horrible, horrible. He one hit could what when he hit when he hit Jack the Ripper the first time. You're gonna tell me a god who hit you with his full strength. That all you're gonna do is slam and and don't forget Jack the Ripper slammed into a brick wall and concave did in. Nick, if a car hits you and you hit into a brick wall and concave did in, would you not be dead? <laughs> like that yeah. made no sense whatsever, man. <laughs> I, I no, think it, it didn't make no sense. What, that one would I truly did. Yeah. Truly didn't understand. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I could dispense my disbelief on a, a lot of things, but to have him be hit twice by Hercules and him survive it, like shake it off, like <laughs> get out of here, like that is the dumbest thing. So, <laughs> on top of that, after the fight, we learn. That they had the twelve or the seven, what was it? The seven fortunes, which I found very interesting. I loved it. They kind of like merge uh, Taoism. They kind of merge Buddhism. They kind of merge. Uh, yeah, I said Taoism. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, that was Buddhism. They kind of merged those together and brought out the like the seven fortunes. Which was pretty yeah. cool. Uh, I like that. I don't know if you brought it up, like the names. I did it. I, I just yeah. I forgot about it. I just thought about it when I was talking about it. Uh, but they brought up the seven fortunes. Let me let me see. Uh, seven. Ragnarok. Yeah, I know you're talking about when Buddha and Loki were pretty much in the near the fountain, right? And they were walking and. Yeah, Loki, Loki's yeah. question. Oh, was it him. seven fountain or was it seven fountain yeah. or seven fortunes? No, it was seven fortunes, right? Yeah. Well, they they called themselves the seven executioners on the show on the anime. All oh, executioners. Yeah. yeah. And all that. Which okay, thank it you was for great. Going. Yeah, boot. I mean, Buddha pretty much eating candy. Don't give a crap. And <laughs> Loki, Lo that was like the first time I guess you see Loki pretty much serious. And an aspect of it, I mean, um, with spoiler alert, I mean, at this point, um, Hercules lost, Jack Ripper won. Like, it's like, so it, it was. Oh, like, yeah, we didn't even get into that. Yeah, I was, I was like, we didn't get to, yeah, Jack Ripper won. <laughs> Who won? It, it just, it just. Just take me off so bad. It, it was if it wasn't ten episodes, I probably would have been really mad. But I would I mean don't get me wrong, it was it should not have lasted that long. I felt like they could have done that in two mate. I'll give you two and a half, and that would have been done. And that's just because that's how I feel every other fight went. And and it was not that long, and this one just dragged on. But yeah, Jack the Ripper won. He ended up using um, I mean, it was kind of smart. He used 
Hercules, anything he touched with his gloves, that was what he, weapon he picked, turned into a weapon that could beat him. So he used his blood and coated them and went into Hercules. Which, yeah, I but where did he get the bag from? He he tricked them. The bag was, yeah, 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 yeah. But like, he, they weren't allowed to have external help like that. That was the whole point. Remember, they weren't allowed to have external help. And that's why Ares and Loki were all upset. And that's why they confronted Valkyrie uh, over yeah. it. You know, uh, what's her name? Brunhilda. They uh, yeah. confronted Brunhilda about it because they were like, hey, you know, where did he get the where did he get that bag from? Because he's not supposed to have any mythological thing other than like the, the help because they agreed upon that. They agreed well, that the well, Valkyries were going to help. Him. No, Loki said it. He goes, "We all been, we all got tricked by him. He he made it seem like that was the bag was the thing, because he was saying that he could only make weapons." Right. That no, 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 no. I get it. Yeah, but who gave him the bag? That's what I'm saying. Because that bag held like unlimited. Uh, remember, he said he could shape any metal with oh, yeah. any metal that yeah. he wants out of that bag. That's a magical well, bag. But I that's think not that. That I mean, was the Valkyrie help. He has a soul eye, so I mean, I'm, there's no telling what he has in his in his bag per se. I mean, right? I just, uh, why did I even question it? Why yeah. did I even question it? Like, I was like, soul eye, Andrew, where yeah, you I was that, like, bro? This guy has a soul eye. I mean, he, every, he, he every time he gets beat up, he was singing London Bridge and just found like magical strength somewhere. So I mean, yeah, it was a, I was I was kind of happy when it ended. I was it was. If they would have just took the fighting and just took away the backstories, I would have been like, oh, this is dope. But oh man, that was stupid. That was stupid. The waste <laughs> five episodes. I'm like, the fight was cool. The fight, yeah. fight was cool, condensed into two episodes. I would have been happy. Yeah. I would have been like, oh heck yeah, dude. This is like freaking awesome, dude. But to stretch it over five, like, dude. No, that was that was, that was way too much. Stupid. Yeah. That was stupid. So it was the seven lucky gods. And there were the seven pillars, and yes, they're called and the heavenly executioners is what they're yeah, called yeah. Uh, in there. But yeah, so they, they merged like a bunch of them. Uh, Bishamatin, Bishamatin, uh, Bizantin, Bizantin, uh, Ibitsu, uh, Daiko Kuten, Hotetsu, Fukurukuju. Ah, oh, I messed that one. Fukuruk. Kuju, and then Jojurin. And Jojurin, I think, is like a Windigo, man. They like, I don't know if you remember, he's the one that looked like a Windigo with yeah. the with the head animal with the, the like, chainsaws on his head. Yeah, man. I, I'm excited to see if they get like into like some external fighting with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. like a, a, a battle because they showed the Shinju, uh, Shinjuzumi squad too. Like they went in there, they showed the Shin, uh, Shinzumi squad, man, which is like the maybe my personally favorite because I think that's the Batosai, uh, the the little one with the yeah. the hair. I think that's the Batosai. Uh, that I think he's not 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 Kinji, uh, you know, kid, uh, 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 dang man, that's my favorite anime too. Uh, Renoni <laughs> Kitchen, not Kitchen. Uh, but I, you know, I think like the real Batosai, the real manslayer. Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't ever in the Shinjuzumi squad, but yeah, uh, like I like it though, man. I hope that's him, you know, like I hope he, they based it off of seeing Jack the Ripper's face when he did the little smile thing, and then seeing him come in afterwards and just just the basic look of him looking at all them, like, oh, this is gonna be fun. I was like, he took the whole episode, like. He took the whole series of like looks of anime in that in that season of just there was just a look he had like yeah I'm gonna have fun like beating all you gods up like who who the uh, Jack the Ripper no 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 uh, the the little one you're talking about because Jack the Ripper oh, the little one. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Face. but then this guy but, but I wasn't sure if they were I wasn't sure if they were like in the gods area or in the man's area. You know what I'm uh, saying? They were like, the, in the man's, yeah. Okay, they were in the man's. Okay. Yeah, because they, they, the okay. yeah, they, they were like, uh, they're like, I can't wait to when it's my turn to fight one of these gods. 
Ah, uh, okay. And so yeah, I, I don't know. I, there's only nine, so I'm guessing you're gonna get some, uh, like you said, side battles, of course, and everything else. Because you start seeing at least the winners coming out again, like talking to people and everything. Well, I think I think there's, I yeah, I think there there is nine battle, but I think they're probably gonna be like you said. There's gonna be some more people involved more battles going on on the side you know i mean heck it's it's freaking ragnarok right literally yeah. a battle for the for the universe <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well it's like like if you don't just like i don't know if you know the story of ragnarok but like it's supposed to like like it's it symbolizes uh the the birth of the cosmos it's, it symbolizes like destruction and yeah. it's like you have to burn it all down to rebuild you know, Re all over again. So basically, yeah, it's basically like to rebuild the world tree. But uh, yeah, so uh, round five. Ooh, we had, I kind of like that one. I mean, that, I think that one saved it for me after five episodes of that. Um, it was Raiden, the, I mean, arguably the best uh, sumo wrestler in Japan. Um, another historic figure in sumo wrestling uh, i believe he's in even in real life i believe they got that right where he has the best division top best division winning ratio in sumo wrestling right and then uh he of course went up against we finally saw shiva jump in there and and put his strength out there uh you kind of got us you you almost got him in season one but you don't you get him in season two and he goes in there, and it was funny because when you meet Raiden, he dude looks massive, and the Valkyrie he got was bigger than him, and they ended up somehow falling in love with each other and and, and everything. But it's cool because his story is, of course, he he was young, his bone, his muscles were too strong, so it was breaking his bones, and so he ended oh, up. Hey, uh, you uh, that. I don't think he said uh, his bone. I was like, oh yeah. Uh, Probably bone good. <laughs> and I was like, that's what I thought you were going at, bro. And I was like, oh yeah, he bone good. You <laughs> gave her that sweet little wrestle. <laughs> uh, wait, that nah. it is a uh, yeah. So he ends up pretty much capping his, I guess, his power level per se of his muscles because his body can't handle it. And uh, you see his story of how he became the greatest sumo. But he was always humble because of what his parents told him, you know, why he was doing it to feed his uh, his town and everything. And then you get Shiva, which um, you want to give on Shiva or talk on uh, Raiden. I know both are – this one was probably one of my favorite ones this season. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, man. Shiva, Shiva is a Hindu god of destruction. Uh, basically, uh, the, the pit – so Shiva isn't the pantheon god. Uh, they they actually worship another god, but Shiva is um, this one the pantheon god, right? He he embodies all the god. He won the battles of Shiva, uh, so it's the tales of Shiva, uh, and basically he he uh, I don't I don't think the other guy is really that related to Shiva. No, no, they just they injected him into the story uh, to give him I guess a basic background, basic buddy back. Around to put a story tag in there or something like that. Uh, I guess to set up something in the future, yeah. Because when they when they they started mentioning him, that I was like, yeah, I mean, like he he's part of it, but I didn't I didn't remember them being like buddy buddy like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, and which they're not. So like so, uh, you got to understand Hindu uh, Hindu religion, Hindu uh, like like Sanskrit and everything. It is detailed, but it's like, man, it's so much, man. They they they're like Greek mythology, man. And it's like Roman Greek Greek mythology and Roman mythology. They mix they merge them together and then the stories take left to right turns and stuff like that. And that's how Hinduism is, man. It's just so much, man. So I'm not an expert as as good as I would like to be, but you know, I do know a little bit about it and uh yeah so they did get a lot of things right in there like the the the, the grounds of fighting the dancing the cosmic dancer uh you know those are his uh, themes a god of time is what he's also known to the great yogi uh you know it's, it's another thing because you know he's just like 
they they basically encapsulate everything that they uh, possibly want into, and then said Shiva did it right. Uh, she it was like sort of like uh, the way uh, Maui's did, uh, you know, uh, their their guy uh, from Moana, right? They're just like, oh man, he, you know, you know, spin the water, bang, man, you know, Shiva did it, you know, you know, clouds are cool, Shiva made him cool, bro, you know, so you know, it's it's that kind of thing, you know, so uh, so. Basically, uh, they get into he gets into they they do a big old tower battle, right? They they go up against all of them, and Rama, which is that that's who I thought was the pinnacle uh, that who they actually uh, Rama, who they actually yeah. worship, you know, and uh, you know Brahma and Vishnu are like like you know the the, the gods, you know, and uh, apparently in this one he takes them out, takes them out. So I guess this must be like a later story date like Ragnarok type of situation, right? Like a story of the end times. So uh they go they match up, they beat up, they fight up, uh great battle win. Uh so uh Raiden uh a Raiden uh Tamembo uh is a real character like you said. He was dating back in 1767. Uh he had the longest reign is as the uh, as the uh, Onizuni, uh, which is twenty one years. Like like to this day, no one has touched it. You know, it's uh, basically uh, you know the, the pinnacle. So he retired in eighteen eleven. So uh, that's you know basically recently in the time span of humanity, right? So yeah. uh, he uh, had a total record of two hundred and fifty four fights, ten losses, and forty one draws. So I mean that's man massive. Just imagine that in a boxing record, right? It's like it's unheard of, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, he died at the age of fifty eight uh, in eighteen twenty five, and like I said, that's recent. Uh, so what really is nice about sumo is that it's like Japan's national, uh, you know, uh, fighting sport. Right, like because they can literally, it literally predates uh, karate. Everything. It's like uh, the beginning was in seventeen. I think it was not seventeen. Uh, eleven ten. Uh, no, eleven seven. Give me one second. I had the date and now it's escaping me. Uh, seven twelve is when it started uh, in seven twelve eighty. So like they could trace it. Trace it back to seven, twelve, like records, right? Like you know, records, and that's one thing. Like the Japanese and the Israelites, they have really, uh, really great comments at their history. They documented everything, so it's like really nice that you can just go back and read like history straight from Japan. So they get into the Royal Rumble man. Uh, he uses everything. Uh, his uh, his uh, Valkyrie. Uh, she gives him basically body armor, so he's allowed to uh, maximize his muscles. Now that part, <laughs> once again, man, we get into the fantastical things, man. It's like, like he's 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 like gigantic his arm to block, like, dude, that was wild, bro. Like, he, they're like he has control every other cell in his body. Like, all his geez, muscles are man. moving to different parts. It was <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. man. Like. Dude, that is like wild, bro. So, uh, yeah, but uh, rated. Uh, I like I like sumo wrestling. It was really nice. It was a really good fight. Uh, but yeah, uh, and in the end, Shiva won. You know, uh, you can't beat yeah. the god of destruction uh, like that. You know, you have to you have to take him on. Really, it was really, really honestly, like I thought he had it. You know, I thought I thought he had it, man. And uh, basically, I guess he I guess he did it. You know, but I thought he had it for sure. Uh, yeah. uh, at the end, you know, I was like, that's kind of weird how they just gassed him out like that. You know, just yeah, it's so hard, you know, just yeah. look like one a balloon that just blew up and everything. Like, it, I right? guess it was like that was like those warrior deaths. Like he went one on one with Shiva during his fire dance and, and he ended up just not losing but he ended up like ending his life at his full potential so yeah. like like i said i'm a purveyor of martial arts right yeah i didn't know 
I didn't know India had you know Korean kicks. I didn't know I they had. You know, yeah, dude. Like he had yeah. one arm. Remember? Like what happened yeah. to that? What happened to his balance was so off. You know, yeah. like if he's dancing, what did his balance be even more off? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> get out of here. The like, dancing helped like, him with the wind. You, you can you can tell with these anime uh, artists and concept writers, right? They they don't have any real world experience of fighting. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like you can this tell sometimes, cool. man. Like, like cool. they just don't have. Uh, it's like, <laughs> but uh, did, yeah. did boxing now, hey. <laughs> right? Yeah, like yeah. what, dude? Like, <laughs> get out of here, dude. Like, yeah. like whatever, dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, that battle ended, <laughs> and uh, uh, deceased, therefore, rated to uh, has died. Uh, so. The, yes, so we have our next season coming up in later 2023, and I'm trying not to read on to see who it is, but we have round six, seven, and eight to go, and then uh, then they'll let us know about what's the conclusion with season three. Uh, but I'm trying not to see who it is. <laughs> I, I already <laughs> know who the <laughs> next fighters are, and I'm so mad because I'm hyped now for it, but. I'm not. I'm not gonna read it because this thing like tells you like what happens, and I don't want to yeah. see what happens. I, I don't know what happens. Uh, I just I saw the pictures of who. Oh, fighting. okay. I say spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You go ahead and tell us who it is. I don't want to know what happens. I just want to know who's okay, up. Yeah, I don't know what happens. Who's I don't know the fight. story. I know Buddha. Buddha is mad. Yeah. So right? Buddha is Buddha up Buddha switching. Is He's Buddha, like, Zeus asked Buddha, of course, to fight for the gods next. He's like, yeah, I got you. You're the boss. And then literally does a whole switcheroo. And he's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm going to fight for mankind. Uh, y'all can deal with it. Well, you know why, though, right? Well, it's Buddha. Well, no, no, you know why Buddha did it, right? No. Well, why? Oh, well, because Buddha's human. Well, yeah. Buddha's I mean, human. That's- so Buddha's a, he, he's a human who is sit. So Buddha, Buddha is a title, right? Yeah. So Buddha is not a person, right? Buddha is a title. So anyone really can and and enlighten themselves to the point of Buddha, right? So yeah. what we see, like the fat guy, right, and his big ears and the fat guy, that's actually Buddha, right? So that's a yeah. person, right? So. Yeah, the Buddha that is uh, pictured like as in, you know, they worship Buddha, right? That's an enlightenment. Like, so everyone can see themselves as Buddha, right? Like, you can one day, hopefully, if you live a, a Buddhism life, you'll reach Buddha, right? So, okay. yeah, so Buddha's a, a human who ascended to the gods. So, in that sense, like, yeah, it kind of makes sense why he would fight for mankind and want mankind to win because he's like, Hey, I'm human, bro. <laughs> like, like you know, like. But I like the whole attitude thing, and uh, you know, uh, sucking on the lollipops. Like, I, I laugh because I had like six cotton lollipops <laughs> in my desk, and I was like laughing because I was like, "Hey, I recognize those lollipops." I was like, I pulled them out. I was like, "Oh man!" <laughs> so I ate them already, but. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, product placement inside <laughs> those animes, bro. They're hurting. They need our money. Give give money to anime, please. They're hurting. <laughs> so <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that, that means that. Okay, so who does Buddha go up against? So he actually has two opponents he goes up against. Um, when he switches over, the guys are furious. Um and the seven, uh, what did you talk about? The seven lucky gods actually fuse, and they make a character that is uh, called Zer- Zerafuku. He's a god. Uh, oh, okay. He has like a hole in his chest. He kind of looks like a, a hollow from Bleach a little bit. Um, and All so right. that's one of them um, that he goes up against. But then there's the other, uh, I believe the other god of God Hyjun. He's uh the Hi. demon lord of the sixth heaven. Um he's uh pretty much of a what? demon. Uh he's called the How demon uh H A J U N. 
He's a legendary berserker of the netherworld. Oh. Yeah. The god of misfortune. Right. That that's battle number six. And then you get right. battle number seven, which um for the humans you get uh another uh, Chinese representative, uh Quin Shi Hong. And then you uh, better know who Quin yeah, you're talking I about know, you know, know who you know who Lu Lu is, you know who Quin Shi is. <laughs> He's the founder of the Quin of the Quin Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. The, the anime pictures that they use though is different. It's like I gotta put a face to that. It's like, but no, he. So he's you're he's like, the next. Also, like, you know. Yeah, he's yeah, the, nice, the nice. greatest so, emperor of Chinese. Uh, history um so he ends up going fighting for humanity and he ends up going up against um hades and so he's gonna end oh up okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. We'll, we'll get another greek uh god coming in which is hades and then uh i don't know who wins that and then round eight um i don't know how you're gonna feel about this one but uh it's uh from the croatians um many people know him for oh, his his brain uh nikola tesla he looks like Nicholas. some type yeah yeah but they call him nikola tesla he looks like some iron man looking uh meets like x-men type of stuff it's kind of yeah, all right i like it man yeah. nikola tesla's greatest mind we have our, our of our generation yeah. Yeah, and so they in the in the anime they call him the ultimate mad scientist of his time. So um, yeah. we'll see, I guess, how that uh, goes in. But his opponent is Buzzbub, the one of the well-known uh, demons and demonology and all that stuff. So one Ooh. of uh, Buzzbub. Oh, Belzebub, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Belzebub, yeah, bro. Yeah, that guy, yeah. Dude, you gotta work out these names, bro. You, you killing me, dude. Well, no, it, bro. in well, I mean, is in paranormal Bell? stuff, that's what they say. So is Belzebub. Belzebub oh, okay. is how you say it. Belzebub. So, so yeah, think yeah, of yeah. it like Bell, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the Bell <laughs> and then Zabub. Yeah, Belzebub. Yeah. 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 No, not bra, bra. He's like the second demon of hell, bro. <laughs> like, no, I know him. He's one of my favorite. I learned in, in demonology. I just, I, I was like, what, what? What are your favorites, bro? I don't know, man. We can't. This is a Christian household over here. <laughs> right, bro, I, I, he's one of my favorites to learn about. I, I liked. I was intrigued by. I mean, to see I, the. I that was the one in the anime where everybody was hyping up, saying that this is the greatest battle of this anime. Like that, those two go. Oh, Nicholas so, Tesla goes up with his Oh, that yeah. is interesting. Yeah. And they oh, and right. they said that there's a, a few. I mean, there's a few characters, of course, that we don't. Um, we don't, there's only nine battles, and there's a, still people that we have not seen fight. There's still characters that we haven't even seen pictures of yet. So I'm I'm kind of wondering how they're gonna they're going to play it into the the next season well the next part of the season 2 and then the last season of it cuz we still have Soji Okita which was the the kid we were talking about that we everybody was hyped up with the way he looked at them and then you have uh one two three four five more characters for the uh for the humans And then you have one, two, three more characters for the gods. That are fighting? Oh, huh? That are fighting? Yeah, they're saying that, uh, I mean, Odin and Loki are still a part of the, the fighters for gods. And then you have Apollo. Oh, man, I guess we got to yeah, stretch it to season three, right? Yeah, you have uh, Apollo, uh, Anubis, and Sosano no Mikoto. So those would be the last gods. And then for the humans, you have uh, uh, Mike Nostradamus, uh, 
Sakato Kintoki. Nostradamus. Come on, yeah. dude. But I don't As know a if fighter. I don't know if he's a fighter or if he's just playing a part. Well, they're, gonna, they're gonna bring out. They're gonna bring out. Uh, uh, what's his name? No, no, they're gonna the, bring out the, the greatest reason. chess player too. <laughs> like this is the reason why though. I don't know if he if they're if it's like playing a part. Like how when you know when Jack the Ripper came back and was talking to the Valkyrie. So I have a feeling some of these aren't gonna be fighting. Pretty much, they're gonna be doing something else or some type of something because. You have uh, another one is uh, King Leonidas, and then uh, Grigori Ross Rospatoon, or what? And then there's another you one. You say Rasputin? Yeah, Rasputin. Rasputin's gonna be on okay? there. Oh yeah, my but... God! Come on, <laughs> he's got all the people in freaking history. They got Norshadavis and Rasputin. Jack the Ripper. Oh my God. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm hyped for Leonidas. That for Leonidas. It's Leonidas uh, is how you pronounce his name in ancient Greek. Yeah. Leonidas. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I think I think though some of them are just playing more of a historic stuff because yeah. Uh, of what it is but yeah the i mean there's a those are the the next rounds for that we're going to be seeing and i mean it left us on the cliffhanger of buddha which everybody was hyped after that so i mean we're going to get some some good fights i think for sure but yeah man hopefully man uh it works out in the end <laughs> i would just look it up the rest of these people man because like uh simo haya i never even heard of that dude have you? Nah. -uh. Yeah, they have so many characters that are gonna be coming. Oh in, shoot! These... You're right, Mohaya. He's the uh, the uh, the sniper. Yeah. He's just the the Finnish sniper, the military sniper. Like that, like he he held back the entire Russian army, man. <laughs> they, <laughs> they had like a bazillion dollar, uh, not bazillion, but. Yeah, like a high price for his head, man, because he was just like, like, man, I forgot what his record was, man. I think he's killed like, uh, man, I don't want to mistake it. Oof, let me see. What, what's his kill count? His kill count. Man, there's so many. 505 players. enemy soldiers, man. That's his kill count. Yeah, like like he held he like seen and held back the Russian army, man. <laughs> like, dude, that's crazy, bro. Like he held back an entire nation's military, man. He like, deserves to be. Dude. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that one makes sense. Hey. So, yeah. yeah, no wonder why he's in there, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh but all right, man. Well, all right, so season two. If you get to give out a rating. What would it be? I want to say, I'm going to say 3.5. And the only reason why I'm giving it this is I feel that the Shiva fight with Raiden was really good. I liked it. There was some, some moments where you, you saw both sides pulling. And then the fighting itself of Jack the Ripper and Hercules was fun to watch. What hurt me was their backstories that took forever. But the only thing I think that saved it to for me not to, if it was like to get a lower grade, was the extra that I got with Buddha, with the seven executioners, all that extra stuff really added on to, to it, I feel, for me to get an extra. Like we always say, push the story along a bit. Give me something else that I want to grab onto. And then it also left the, the entrance of why is Jack the Ripper, you know, coming back in talking to one of the valkyries of, of like you know with the seven executioners like there's there's a lot of betrayal going on now with, with different people and so it's kind of getting you to think that's the only reason why i'll give it a 3.5 but yeah i could have gone without that whole five episodes of backstory yeah i'm a, you're very generous i give it a i give it a, a complete three 
a uh, yeah. low three, like kick, kicking on yeah. a 2.5. Uh, <laughs> that five episodes of Jack the Ripper and Hercules was a waste. Like, yeah, they they should have did it like the first one, put three in there, you know, three fights yeah. in there, you know, uh, could have fit all three in there, but no, they didn't, and uh, that was horrible. So, uh, animation, great, that's star one, right. Two, yeah, the story was really good. I think it pushed it forward. I love the extras uh, introducing Buddha, the conversation him and uh, him and Zeus had, and uh, Nirvana or not Nirvana. Yeah. Uh, listen to me, and uh, Valhalla. Uh, but at the same time, it was like a uh, you know, it kind of shows like the level of uh, like because you you got you think about it like Zeus, Yahweh, you know, God. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Buddha, they, they put them all on the same, you know, steps and pe- yeah. instead of uh, pe- uh, pedestals, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, so they put them up there all together, like they're almost all even in their eye. Shiva, like they put them all in there, you know, a uh, Brahma, sorry, not Shiva, Brahma, they all put them up there, like as even as creators of the universes, you know. So, that being said, uh, with that, um, uh, I, I like that. I like the whole uh, backstory sh- introduction to the Shinji Gumi. Man, I love that. Uh, yeah. Introduction to the seven uh, pillars. I like that. You know, that kind of that kind of stuff. I liked it. Uh, the scheming, you know, now we get a little backstory. What's going on, you know? Uh, really, really wish they would have given us a little about, like, what, why is all this spurring? What's happening? They sort of, like, uh, uh, alluded to it. And they said, like, Oh, it's because you know mankind has finally you know forgot the gods and who we were, so we now have to show them you know like who we are, right? And yeah. so now that you gave me that Nikola Tesla's in there and uh, 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 Simo Simo Yaga is in there, so now we know this is like at the end times of the end times, you know. So you know this is happening sometime like in the next you know 30, 40, 50 years, right? So uh, that being said. Uh, the battle, uh, like I'm with you. If the the battle between Hercules and Jack the Ripper, great man, that was awesome. Uh, the backstories, uh, horrible. I hate Jack the Ripper's backstory. I hate that they changed uh, Zeus uh, Hercules's backstory yeah. to something like he's the weak and you know, like no, dude, that wasn't who Hercules was. You know, it was like give him the Disney backstory. Everybody loves yeah. that backstory. You know. Yeah. Like, you know, boy was strong as hell, knocking things over. Uh, and then the battle between Raiden and Shiva, like, they did it. They did it in, like, an episode, right? And the yeah. battle was really, like, like they did one episode of, like, them talking, right? That was episode six. Episode seven, they introduced the fighters, right? Uh, one backstory. Episode eight, they, they fought. Episode nine, they did the other backstory story episode 10 they wrapped it all up you know like yeah. the, 10 was you know all, all over and then they introduced buddha to fight for the next one like jesus christ do that for the first five episodes like what the hell dude yeah like yeah. you know it was like yeah. like they were yeah. done with their battle in three episodes you know well i understand they want to stretch this thing out but jesus christ man yeah, yeah. so yeah. uh that being said there is a part two coming out later on this year uh don't know when more than likely december uh if it's not december it's going to be probably april oh uh, not april august september uh that's typically when uh you know they release the the animes for the uh spring uh to get set up and everything so uh yeah i was just reading this something real quick uh, somebody said Saturday. Uh, somebody said uh, that the com the anime itself manga the the latest book is coming out October twenty fourth is the latest one. So they said that they're probably going to release part three on the same day. So I was just reading that little note somebody yeah. threw out there. That's interesting. So hopefully we get it sooner than later. So as an overall so far, what do you say, Dave? Yay or nay? Should it be a moderate quarter on his TV as he's watching it, or is our great moderate gonna laugh and scoff and say these guys are nowhere near 
god level <laughs> as the um, greatest fighter. <laughs> I feel like for what it's giving us, it's giving us a, a history lesson. Yeah, they're changing up a lot of stuff, but we're we're joking on some of these people that are coming out uh, for sure for at least the the human side. Like, why are you here? But um, I think it's doing a, a good job so far of pulling in iconic human like people that we we know in history and people that we we have learned about to fight against gods that we definitely know about. Uh, no matter what, if you played them in games, if you learned about them in religions, or you just learned about them in history or mythology, whatever it is, you, they're bringing in at least reputable people of both sides. And, and I think they're doing a, a good job at it. I think the cliffhanger of Buddha was the perfect thing because that's all people are talking about on TikTok and everything else is Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. I want to see his fight. I want to see it. And it, like you said, he's that, that cocky guy that just is like, yeah, I'm going to switch sides, whatever. I don't care. Whatever happens, happens. And they're, they're doing good jobs at cliffhangers, I feel. Like, I didn't – now that I know what happens in Jack the Ripper, season one, I was like, ooh, I want to see how this turns out because I don't think he's going to be able to be Hercules. But I'm hoping the Buddha thing's different. It's not six, seven episodes in, in that sense. So I think no, it's good. You see, if they made Buddha fight seven episodes a badassery, you know, yeah. like he ain't said but two words. The entire time we've seen him. And now his episode is going to be this long, drawn out, five episodes long of this heart wrenching story, Vinland saga type of (laughs) goddamn narrative. Oh, Jesus. What's happened to anime? Mainstream anime. That's not what I should say. Mainstream anime. It's like in Dragon Ball Z when they powered up for five episodes. (laughs) Worse, bro. <laughs> uh, right. I'm watch. I'm rewatching Dragon Ball Z on my downtime, and I'm telling you right. No, Dragon Ball. I'm telling you, man. God damn, dude, it's a waste of time, bro. Like I played in the background because it's just like, dude, he. They literally. I didn't realize how long he spent on one subject, bro. Like 25 minutes talking about nothing. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. 25 yeah. minutes, bro. <laughs> like staring at each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, my overall my overall score for Ragnarok is about a, a four. I I I think this this last season, the first five episodes, they really, really need to work on, but uh yeah like you i heard a lot of good things coming out of it if you want they said everyone like agrees and everything everybody says go read the manga they said it's like a a gazillion times better and it's a lot different they said like uh like like they really dive into everybody and it's a it's a lot different setup than the way the anime is made up so uh i suggest everybody go read it uh support our anime we we love them so hopefully they can uh you know stop putting ads for cotton candy for candy co (laughs) 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 into our animes they say you know it like a coca-cola ad is gonna pop up god damn it damn you (laughs) netflix it's gonna be a a a state farm agent in the background (laughs) <laughs> asking <laughs> for an ad. <laughs> He's going to be oh, in the background. Man. It's going to be like a soccer match around the around the ring. It's going to have all the ads posted up on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, nobody asked what stadium they were fighting in. They're fighting at the MetLife Stadium <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> that's, that's the arena, eh? <laughs> That's the arena, the vet life arena. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right, man. Well, I know we blew over that time frame that we were yeah, we gonna go. But <laughs> that being said, uh, so this video is basically all about Ragnarok, man. Uh, you know, definitely it's a a, a review. Now, uh, Nick, and uh, uh, you know. 
We looked at uh, Blue Locker. It's an ongoing series. It's not one that has finished just quite yet. So we can roll it in and pair it with another anime so that we can have a continuation with the other one. I don't uh, if, you know if Nick likes that idea or not. Uh, so that we can bring you more content. So we'll do like uh, Vinland and then uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Vinland and then Tokyo Revengers. And then we can do Blue Locker and Blue Lock and then another anime. So if y'all have any suggestions, what ongoing anime y'all want so that we can watch, catch up on, and watch it, and then give y'all our opinions. And like always, you reach out to us and let us know what y'all think. Uh, if y'all agree, what y'all think, who's your favorite god, who your favorite god you want to see fight, or uh, if you had a fantasy lineup or matchup, let us know. Uh, and uh, definitely we can discuss it on our uh, Facebook, our Twitter, our uh, – oh, shoot, we don't have Instagram yet, but we'll, we'll get an Instagram yeah, page up yeah. too, and then uh, and our TikTok. So we have exciting things coming down the pipeline. Y'all know it's almost summertime, so all the conventions are starting to back up again. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Comic-Cons are coming and all that jazz. Movies are coming. Uh, Demon Slayer's coming up. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen's coming up. Uh, movies for them are coming up. So, uh, you know, let us know what's up. Uh, so, uh, we're, as always, we uh, like the obscure animes as well. So, if you have any suggestions, let us know. Uh, if you want my top 10, uh, uh my top 10, uh, uh isekais that are going on right now and a little bit of deep knowledge uh not deep but a little synopsis about a little bit of what's up what's up i'll be posting them on the twitter page uh so go check it out uh and that being said uh nick I'll pass it on to you my man man i made to this point make sure you like subscribe to the network you can check us out on our TikTok. it'll be down below you can check us out on our twitter down below also like you said, man, just comment any questions you have, any answers. If you agree with us, you disagree with us. Let us know what animes you want us to talk about. I mean, we're going to be doing a total, a bunch of them, but we don't mind. Especially Andrew does not mind watching them, and then I, he'll throw me onto them, and we'll we'll figure out which ones are going on because we have a lot of them in store for y'all. So, man, make sure y'all do that, guys. Much love, everybody. We're out.